Hail, thou that art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive and bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. How shall this be, seeing that I know not a man? The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that Holy Child, which shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Peace be upon you, dear cousin. <sighs> May you be strong and blessed. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this? That the mother of my Lord should come to me. For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, Babe leaped to my womb for joy. My soul doth magnify the Lord. My spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, for he hath regarded the lower state of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, for he that is mighty hath done to me great things. And holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seats. and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled
filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath holpen his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. Our God, and the God of our fathers, raise up this child to his father and mother, and let his name be called in Israel, Zacharias, the son of Zacharias. Not so. Not so. But he should be called John. None of thy kindred that is called by this name. His name is John. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he sware to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. Joseph, thou son of David, Fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins.
fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Shalom Aleichem. Aleichem, Shalom.